This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Well, we'll see if that continues. Oh, okay, now we can switch back to the other OST. Having heard our friendly banter, Tomita-kun and Okamura-kun walked up and timidly spoke to us. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah. They grinned dryly and scratched their heads. Bruh, they're like ten. ちなみに、ジェイ先生が授業中。ふん、と含み笑いを教科書で隠した時が次のテスト範囲だ。Do not encourage this. That's not what we're here for, said Tomita, elbowing Okamura. Uh oh. No problem, I'll do that. Oh. just don't be a dip. Dude, come on. Don't be the one of those upperclassmen. Tomita-kun and Okamura-kun conversed for a short time and then gave their reply. <laughs> I would have been like, how about if you help us get the ball down, we won't tell the teacher you were telling us how to buy porn magazines. <laughs> that would be a much better response. どうです?なんだそりゃ。授業中に寝るのは俺の勝手だろ? <laughs> I can't imagine Curry Sensei <laughs> putting up with that. True. Alright, alright, Titus. What the heck is this? You're being, you're being weird. How about you just help him out? It's not, it's really not that big of an ask. Okay, Wicked Witch of the West. And now Mion was getting on my nerves. That happens a lot. Suddenly it came to me, and I took Tomita kun and Okamura kun's hands. ボールを取ってやるから居眠りの権利を俺にくれ。え？え？もう。ミロミオン、俺はちゃんと権利をもらったぞ。でもお前はもらってないよな。ドミタ君、岡村君、ミオンが居眠りしたらすぐに来る。
There was something that I was somewhat confused by about these emotions, not quite understanding them myself. There was one thing I could say, though. Nobody but teachers and students should be at school. This person shouldn't have it even... This person shouldn't have been here. Uh-oh. I felt less of a tremble and more of a sense of dread. Like a caterpillar, brilliantly colored in garish, bilious greens, were crawling across my forehead. A feeling of disgust that neither itchy nor gross could describe as the frizzly, dreadful hair rubbed against my brow. I didn't even want to see his face. Wow. Jeez. He's having quite a reaction to this. I just wanted to jump backwards and run away. An unpleasant feeling, for which I didn't even know the cause. The other side of myself has nothing but questions. Hey, what are you doing? What are you disgusted by? This is the first time you've met him. It's rude to hate someone for no reason. Hater's gonna hate, though. No answers were coming. I held my silence, waiting, a damp sweat running down my forehead. When he saw that, Uisi thought maybe he had, was being intimidating and gave me a relaxed smile. Ah, あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、
My throat's stunned with burning pain. Burned like a parched, creviced wasteland. The wasteland broke apart deep in my throat and brought out the words that from deep in my mind. Oh, I don't know. I just had all these snacks I got from Bucky's. Luisi probably hadn't expected that reply. He stood there surprised for a few moments. I did as well. I hadn't thought words like that could ever come out of my mouth. Things might still work out. This guy might have shown up out of the blue, but if I drove him off, maybe I could make it so that it never happened. If I could do that, then I could get back. <laughs> maybe it's something like that. I had I could get it back. <laughs> he does have a lot of guts saying that to like a police not chief necessary, but like a high ranking police officer. <laughs> Uh, yeah! <laughs> we can take her, uh, you can go in on March 30, 31st. <laughs> I mean, April 31st. Uh, I mean, April 31st. Breaking through a dam would have been a perfect analogy to use. Why didn't I like this man? This man shouldn't have been here. I needed to make it so this man wasn't here. Childish, selfish, um, selfish, selfish emotions bubbled up from the depths of my mind, and they each came out of my mouth just as it had been formed. Not liking the guy was my own problem. But to say things so bluntly to him, even though I, even I thought I was crazy. <laughs> I like people I can emotionally manipulate. Luis he grinned and scratched at his sweaty throat. Even as he feigned stupidity, I could tell he was irritated. Hey, Keichi Maibara, why am I looking for a fight with this old policeman here? It's not like he brought the gift of misfortune with him all wrapped up in paper, right? Right. It wasn't like he brought a package of misfortune with him and it was he was asking me to sign here, please. Rationally speaking, I understood all that. So then, why was I so... Finally, I outlasted Uisi in our game of silence, and he gave a big sigh. Then he addressed a few of my female underclassmen running around nearby. <laughs> He's like, alright, Keiichi's being a butt. I'm just gonna ask somebody else. <laughs> my underclassmen tried to smile in reply, but they noticed the oddly stiff air atmosphere around me. It seemed hesitant to give a quick answer. Traitor! <laughs> well, that's, that's an interesting face there. <laughs> he looks so weird in the original art style. Well, they all look weird in the original art style. Oh! He, lo he looks a bit crankier here. <laughs> this one, he just looks like, hmm, okay. His face remained smiling, but his tone was clearly one of ill humor. Such conspicuous spite caused my underclassmen, who had answered honestly, to cringe in fear. So this guy. He was smiling broadly, but the way he laughed didn't make me feel better at all. When he noticed that his laughter wasn't getting anyone else to laugh with him, he immediately stopped. I'll kill you. He grabbed the girls by the shoulders so they wouldn't run away and crouched down to address them at eye level. The girls flinched away from the sharp, piercing light in his eyes. And in exchange for their release, they didn't resist and told him my name. You traitors! He said my full name. That was all he said, and yet I couldn't help but shudder. It was like he had grabbed me by the collar with just those words. <gasps> That's a different Maibara. It's a very common name. <laughs> Funny you should say that. Oh. This is... Oh. This is good music. Oh, 
どんな立派な絵を描かれるかは存じませんがね。Yeah, uh, man was asking me about that too. お母さんも知的そうな方じゃないですか。高学歴って聞きましたよ。Okay, buddy, this is just this is weird. どこぞの女子大を出られてるそうじゃないですか、ね。How do you know all this? あの年の女性で女子大でなんてすごいですよ。What does that mean? ひょっとしてお母さん、両家のお嬢さんなんじゃないですかなんて噂が立ってるし。The rumors? 冷たい人だ。マーミスクリーンってなんてご存知ね。I can do your mama jokes. 町内会の会合。最初の一回以外は出てないでしょう。OK、Bro。そういうのっていけないんですよね。こういう土地では、ご近所付き合いをないがしろになんかできませんよ。Maybe she didn't want to be part of the homeowners association, all right? I respect it. <笑> Do you have like a reason for being here? A sense of eeriness slivered up my spine. That was my first experience of true terror. I couldn't believe it felt this terrible for someone you just met to know everything about you already. Luisi clamped onto my shoulders and brought his eyes close to peer into mine. Koyu tochi dewa ne. Teki wa tsukura nai hou ga zettai ni i desu yo. It's also good not to manhandle children. Samo nai to. Ow! Luisi. Dug into my shoulders of inhuman strength. Bruh, this guy's being way more aggressive. This, this timeline. That's actually not what karma means. You got your information about Satoka. Why are you being a butt? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Who would want to be a butt? 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 Ow, 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 ow! This man wasn't just strong. It was like he knew exactly where to press to make me feel pain. Gah! Only four or five fingers were on my shoulders, and yet the pain made me want to bend over backwards. Yeah, like what the heck? He's like assaulting this teenager for nothing. He came, he's like, hey, can I talk to Satoko? And then someone is like, I'm like, I don't really want to talk to you, bro. And he's like, all right, underclassmen, where is she? And they're like, uh, she's at home. He knows where she is now. Like, He can just leave, but no, he's like, all right, this little punk kid, I'm gonna teach him a lesson. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack him. Ugh! A few of the girls from my class were pretty shaken up, but they didn't, didn't seem to want to help me. They weren't sure if they should go call the teacher. Oh, yes, please do. As for me, I couldn't take the time to wait until the teacher got here. It hurts! No, I don't want to be saved by coach. Huh? Uh oh, <laughs> coach to the rescue. Here he just looks kind of perplexed. Here he's like, uh huh. But here he's like, mm, you're going down, bro. Behind Uisi san, someone. To my disbelief, it was coach. Not creepy coach! Doctor! If this guy's a doctor, I am never going to that hospital. <laughs> Discomforted by Coach's sudden appearance, Uisi laughed scornfully. The vice on my shoulders, however, remained as strong as ever. You're an idiot. Uisi smiled daringly and glared straight at Coach. He didn't release me in the meantime, of course. To be fair, Uisi probably should arrest. Uh, coach for creeping on little girls. It's more oisong as she took a day. Look, look, who has she got the gym as in Karane? Eh, Onozomi to Areba. Ikura demo Hanashio Ganaimasio. Demo sono mini. Lejo. Oh, 
think he can make that happen. True. He knows the law. Coach didn't display a shred of the weird behavior he'd shown at the baseball game and barbecue. If only he could be like this more. <laughs> he stared steadily at Uisi and fought so that he would release me. His chances were terribly bad, of course. Compared to the relaxed Uisi, Coach seemed like he was being defeated mentally. It made sense. Coach had a somewhat narrow stature, but Uisi's body was packed with muscles. It wasn't even a contest. But Coach was fighting for me, without taking a step back. Beads of sweat formed on his face, and though he paled, he was fighting for my sake. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll stop attacking the 15-year-old boy. Suddenly, Uisi laughed and let go of my shoulders. My body exhausted, I fell right onto my backside. Maibara-kun, are you okay? I rubbed my shoulders where Uisi had latched onto them. The pain from falling over went away quickly, but this pain was lingering. Uisi, you're definitely getting in trouble. For or maybe Uisi's just like, I'm retiring in a month. I don't care anymore. What are you going to do, fire me? Don't lie, you butt! <laughs> Aren't you being a creep? Alright, dude, you're going down. I wanted to retort, but I couldn't think of anything witty. Let's get evidence against this guy. <laughs> Coach lent me his shoulder and walked beside me. <laughs> Bro, we've got um four witnesses to what you did, L literally, and you also did probably not as hard, but the same thing to the girls. So um, yeah, I I would be I'd be a little worried. <laughs> yeah, you still like attacked a fifteen-year-old boy though. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't put you above the law. Alright, I can't believe I'm I'm on coach's side here, but yeah, he's being the reasonable adult in this situation. <laughs> uisi san waved his hand sarcastically, pivoted around, and headed to the car parked by the school gates. And without turning back around, he got in and started the engine. Damn it! Who, who the hell was he? Damn it! Aitsu wa Oishi Kurando to you. Kurando. Lambo mono de ne. Mura ju ni kiraware te iru otaku desu. I wonder why! <laughs> Maebara san mo yojin shita hou ga ii. Karudo Uisi. Just like I thought, my gut instinct wasn't wrong. He would be the one. The one to bring unhappiness, misfortune, something that would ruin our peace. To be fair, Uisi was kind of like the main good, big good guy in the first chapter, from what I understand. Shit. I won't accept it. All these fun days can't possibly end just because some guy like him showed up. All the cute guys in this game wear glasses. <laughs> I mean, we've only had, I think, two adult men with sprites. Coach and... Besides Oisi. Coach and, uh... Tomatake. Maybe one of Oisi's fellow detectives also had a sprite at one point? I can't remember. Oh, wait! And, um, Chion's bodyguard guy who showed up for literally half a second. But he had sunglasses, so that still counts. <laughs> Coach seemed to be familiar with the school, so he brought me to the nurse's office without much trouble. The girls from my class came along as well, looking worried. Our teacher and the principal, having noticed the disturbance, came to see what was the matter. Hey, be my principal and get that guy kicked out. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, teacher! She's like, uh huh, um, uh, hmm, I don't know about that. Yeah, she looks, she looks a little, she looks a little worried. <laughs> this is gonna sound even worse. Coach gently interrupted the girls trying to explain. 
いえちょっと転んでひねったみたいです you lie! Teach you gotta know about this. 大丈夫だとは思いますけど念のためと思いましてね保健室をちょっとお借りいたしますうんうんうん入江先生よろしくお願いしますぞ Come on principal was gonna help me out the principal gave a deep bow It looked like Coach was acquainted with the adults at school. <laughs> He s l i d opened the doors to the nurse's office, but there wasn't a nurse in there or anything. I'd figured. I'd never seen anyone but Chi Sensei and the principal working there.、Uh, Coach didn't seem to mind the fact that there was no nurse, and he quickly made his way into the nurse's office. If he's actually a doctor, though, he instructed me to sit down and started washing his hands into the, in the sink. Oh, I get it. He's the coach for the boys' baseball team. He must be pretty used to treating wounds with first aid. ちょっと、幹部を見せてもらえますかまだ痛みますいえ、もう全然痛みません。I would not want to be coach's patient. 本当に大丈夫です。I rolled up my shirt and showed him my shoulder.No bruise, not even nail barks.Yeah, because Uisi knows how to attack you without leaving a mark.And yet, it had hurt so much that I thought my shoulders would be crushed.Even the pain had disappeared without a trace.It hurt so much, but not so much as a bruise remained. それだけあいつが慣れているということですよ。No, Takano is a nurse, I think, at a bigger, like an actual hospital, not just the school. I also wouldn't want to be Takano's patient either. <laughs> Used to it, huh? 今度会った時は、挑発しないことです。あいつを怒らせて、得をすることは何もありませんからね。All I said when it was, it was weird for him to be asking for Satoko at the school, and he's like, Alright, you little punk! <laughs> He has an anger problem. 自宅に制服警官を連れて押しかけてきたらご家族だっていい気持ちはしないでしょう。それは確かに。しかし、何があったんです前原さんがあいつと喧嘩になるなんて。あいつ、サトコに用事があるとか言ってきて。えサトコちゃんにですか Coach's gaze lowered and his expression clouded a bit. Somehow that gesture seemed to be saying Uisi was bound to come to Satoko and did, and that it was no laughing matter. <sighs> Coach fell silent in thought. Quietly, he took a compress out of the first aid kit and put it on me. <laughs> uh oh, cicadas again. What do you mean by still? <laughs> ヘビみたいにしつこい男です。Hmm. Coach mumbled to himself. つきまとうあの大石っていうやつ、たびたび、サトコのところへ来てるんですか<笑> ?Coach didn't answer, but the lack of a denial served well enough.What on earth did policemen, probably a detective or something, need from Satoko? <笑> What mistake had led to a detective to cling to sweetly smiling Satoko? Probably because she put a bunch of elaborate, dangerous traps on the mountain. And he's like, hey, you can't do that. And she's like, make me stop. He's like, okay. Hikkoshite kita bagari de shita ne. Eh, eh. So desu kedo. Choosing a rattlesnake or a bobcat as your pet? I'd probably take a bobcat. <laughs> Bobcats aren't venomous. Oyashiro sama no tatari to. サトコちゃんの話は少しは聞いたことがありますか I get, oh, is this where we get the info dump, which we get once per chapter? <sighs> well, I know a few things about it, certainly. サトコの両親がダム計画の賛成派で、転落事故で死んだのはタタリだって話ですか Coach smiled thinly and dryly, so you know, he said, dropping his gaze. If I recall correctly, there was an accident on a viewing platform at the public park she'd gone to with her family, and her parents died. And then it was just Big Brother and Little Sister. And then she was with Rika and. Um. Go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to t Wait, is this the reference to the other、uh, Hojo that we got at the clue in the last one? Their parents died in the accident and Satoshi ran away, leaving only Satoko to start living with Rika. I'd known that much, but this is the first time I'd hear that they'd been brought to their uncle and aunt. Satoshi's missing and it's hinted that he killed his aunt, so maybe Oisi's after that. 
Was it hinted that he killed his aunt? I don't remember that. Oji to you know, Satoko chan no oto san no oto to ni ataru kata nan desu ga ne. Zannen na koto ni fufu sorotte. Chotto sonke ni atai suru kata gata dewa arimasen de shita. Coach normally picked his words politely. So when he came out and said that they didn't deserve respect, it really made me wonder what kind of people they were. Probably some abuse was happening. Satoko chan no ryoshin ga dam ni sansei shite ita tobatchiri de Oji fufu mo Okay, I'm not going to remember all the little details about some of the chapters, so that'll probably be to my detriment. Satoko-chan たちを歓迎するはずもなかったんです。Uh-oh. Satoko-chan たち兄弟にとってとても辛い生活だったと聞きを読んでいます。Jikes. Bit by bit, Coach told me about the numerous agonies the Hojo siblings had suffered at their uncle's house. Great! Oh boy, this is not good. As their guardians, their aunt and uncle sucked up everything belonging to their immediate family. Satoko and Satoshi were crammed into a small room, and their lives were laden with things that were miserable both for the bodies and minds. In the first place, since apparently their aunt and uncle weren't on good terms, there was no end to their fighting. And, as if in revenge for that, whenever they saw Satoko or Satoshi's face, they would always find fault with them, scold them, yell at them, strike them, and take away meals as punishment. Okay, yeah, that's horrible. <sighs> wow, I was wondering why she was living with Rika, but yeah, I think I'd rather, I would rather have my, uh, child with, with a 12-year-old than with, um, abusive parents. Or family members. <laughs> So this is where it's getting very realistically dark. Yikes. I couldn't imagine it, and I didn't want to. That was how I honestly felt. But at the very least, Satoko wasn't like that anymore, so I'm assuming that we got to prove that they, like... At some point it was exposed how terrible the uncle and aunt were, and that the kids were taken away from them. Because it was like an abusive household. I don't know how th she was still allowed to go live with Rika instead of like going to foster care or an orphanage or anything, but maybe we're about to hear that. She may have had a miserable life in the past, but it was different now. Something had happened to change that life. <laughs> Wait, that's... Oh, that's right. That was the previous with Tanagashi. Oh, yeah. And that's when Satoshi disappeared. That's right. So that's probably why they don't want to talk about Satoshi transferring, because... Presumably he was demoned away. And they're like, oh, he, he ran away. It's like, yeah, after presumably killing his aunt. Oof. A few days later, the deviant arrested for drug use confessed to further offenses, and the incident was resolved. However, though it was resolved, no one knew whether the part about it being Oyashira-sama's curse was true or not. Oji datte, Hinamizawa no ningen desu kara ne. I like I like this music too. It's quieter but it's subtler, but it's fairly good. Oyashiro sama no tatari o taiso o koagari, nigeda shite kumo gakure shite shimatta sou desu. Hmm. Kiita hanashi dewa okinomiya atari no jikkon na naka no josei taku ni korogari konderu toka. Potential cheating. All right. Sore de kaihou sareta n desu ka? Satoko tachi wa oba wa shini, oji wa nigeda shi. 誰も兄弟をいじめる者はいなくなるはずだったんですがまるでその後を継ぐようにあの男が必要に現れるようになったんです OK so aunt died uncle fled Satoshi still there but then Satoshi started running after he started trying、mm. あの男 Then Coach lowered his voice just as just a bit as if being aware of his surroundings. Oh, Ishi des. Oh, Ishi. Sakki no otoko. Hmm. The events that just occurred came back to me. The hard to describe ominous sensation I'd felt from him came back to me. Aitsu wa 
少しおかしいんですよお社様のたたりをめぐる一連の事件はみんな解決しているのにあいつだけがそれを認めていないんです Accept it? The incidents were all solved and a detective supposedly with the police department didn't accept that? あいつが近づく人間には必ず何かよからぬことが起こると言われていますひなみざわではね大石のことをおやしろさまのケンちゃんミオン he was just getting to the good part the door flew open with a rattle and ミオン came rushing in Rena and Rika came running in a few steps behind her, and then Tomita and Okamura and a few more of our classmates. Excuse me, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I want to be alone with Coach right now. <laughs> What? I mean, that came out wrong. Kei chan, Oishi ni yarareta no? Kega o? Ochitsuite, Mion san. Kega wa arimasen yo. Nen no tame, shippo shiteiru dake desu. Mm hmm, wink. Kei chikun, honto ni taijoubu ka na? かなあみんなに聞いたら They were like eight year old girls, and this guy was like a buff, muscly policeman. It makes sense why they wouldn't step in. <laughs> Mion yelled at her classmates, burying her fangs. Tomita kun and the others hung their heads in silence. I don't blame them for not stepping in. Yeah, they weren't there. Only a couple of young girls were there. Oh, yeah, she hates Uisi. Mion kicked the floor of her heel a few times, her temper running hot. Well, I mean, she hates Uisi because he's trying to uncover her crimes. Our teacher overhearing the commotion arrived as well. Uh oh, don't make teacher angry. Yeah, Coach was getting to the good part of the story. <laughs> What story?、Uh, they just leave! <laughs> Mion was letting her emotions get the best of her, so Rana stepped in instead and let everyone out of the nurse's office. The detective from Okinomoya Station, Karodo Uisi. It looked like the first impression I'd gotten from him hadn't been mistaken. Satoko's absence had amplified the vague apprehensions I'd felt since yesterday. And Uisi's appearance basically sealed the deal. Sate. じゃあ私はもともと千恵先生に用事があってきたんです。Why? あ、用事があって学校に来たんですよね。俺なんかのためにどうもすみませんでした。Don't be so humble, he said, smiling easily. おかげで役得と言いますか。Don't say something creepy, I swear to God. 前原くんのきめ細やかなお肌も。There we go. There we go. He ruined it. He ruined it. ハフ。Kicked out of here with the usual for coach anyway parting words. He instead continued. Dewa, shitsure shimas. Taishita kega dewa arimasen ga. Kanbu o mondari suri o na koto wa kregre mo sakete kudasai. Moshi mo kounets ga detari, haretari suri o na koto ga attara, sugu ni renrak shite kudasai. I think I'll just contact an actual hospital. I own one. No! Nai to omoi mas ga. Ah, so da, kantoku. Saki, minna ga kuru chokuzen. He's gonna be like,、oh, you know what? Forget about it. I don't need to drop that plot point yet. As he was about to leave the nurse's office, Coach placed a hand on the door and stopped. Ah, Oyashiro Sama no Tsukai desu yo. Oh, never mind. Mochiron, Waruguchi desu ga ne. Oyashiro Sama no Tsukai? Hmm. Maibara san wa Hinamizawa de mai toshi. I do. Hinamizawa Mura, Lenzok Kaishi Jigan. Who starts with Higurashi Chapter 3? Oyashiro Sama no Tatari no Kotoa, Gozonji Deska. Eh? Lenzok Kaishi? Oh, I hope not, but that actually does make a good deal of sense. Eh? 
Now that I thought about it, I did seem to remember overhearing Mion or someone in class talking about it like a ghost story. The thing is, though, at the very least, even if Uncle ran away and they didn't learn about his abuse, the fact that he abandoned her, that should prove that he's not a fit parent, right? Huh. On the festival day in June, one person would always die, and another person would be spirited away. But they seem to call it demoning away here. What a fine story that was. I figured they'd made it up to scare me, but... It was true? いったいどこの誰が言い出したのかもわからない話ですが、いつの頃からかお石のことをお社様の使いと呼ぶようになりました。なぜですか？あの男がその年のたたりの犠牲者を決めていると。噂されているからです。なくなったり消えたりする人たちの多くが、あの男の必要な訪問を受けているからです。Four the one who disappeared two years ago was Rika-chan's mother. And again, people know that before she vanished, Uisi had been talking to her extremely frequently. The one who disappeared last year, Satoko's older brother Satoshi. Okay, no, he was the one, not the uncle. Satoshi, too, had apparently been approached by Uisi many times before he vanished. And then this year, this time, Uisi was trying to contact Satoko. Satoko,冗談じゃないです。噂ですよ、前原さん。yeah, Takano is very obsessed with Oyashira sama. She gives me the creeps. <laughs> also, she apparently faked her death in at least chapter two, so that makes her very suspicious. I hadn't said that because of the rumors of Uisi being Oyashira sama's servant, or his contacting someone foreshadowing who would be the sacrifice that year. It was because of the ominous hatred I felt towards Uisi was becoming more substantiated, more real. Ano, Satoko. Uh-oh. That looked like news to coach. I thought that he might have known why Satoko was absent today, but... Seems this soundtrack is more simple. Like, there's... It has tracks, like singular tracks that fit multiple fans, whereas the other soundtrack has more varied. So this ne so shimas. Clatter. Coach left the nurse's office and headed towards the teacher's lounge. Mm. Things are getting good now. New tips at locked. Research notes and Uisi's post memo. Let's heck go. Better left untold. We learned Satoko's secret. Did we? I feel like all we really learned was something about her past, but not really a secret she's currently keeping. Let's view our new tips. Actually. Uh. I apparently accidentally clicked on something. Uh, this is Uisi's note. To Uisi-san. There was a call for you from Section 4's Chief Shigaharu. Apparently the slaughtered corpse in the Ojikawa River is related to the S-Group, as we thought. We're still verifying what happened behind the scenes, but apparently the deceased filled up dozens of self-created fictional bank accounts to, no uh, to their limits with money from the S-Group, reaching around 100 million yen. <laughs> eh, could be. I mean, it is... The Satoko chapter, so presumably something bad's gonna happen to Satoko. Either she's going crazy or she's gonna die, or both. It appears that there were three to four men with former S group connections involved in all of this. They've already disappeared along with many millions of yen. The deceased was tortured on the point for that information, and she was clearly slaughtered as an example to others. There are apparently some real wizards chasing down the people who disappeared. They're also spreading letters to related Yakuza groups not to harbor them. There's still no evidence that Tepe Hojo is one of those people. Oh, that's probably the uncle. As far as Chief Shigaharu could tell, he hasn't been told anything. 
He was her pimp, but she didn't trust him at all, did she? Oh. Tepe Hojo has left the apartment in Okinomiya and has returned to his former residence in Hinamizawa. Uh-oh. Don't like that. Let's go to the research notes. The Hojo family. Every year, Oyashiro Sama's curse claims two victims. This means that with four years in a row, there have been eight now. But it's worthwhile to note that half of them have been members of this family. Note, the curse on the second year, a certain falling accident involved the death of Hojo, the dam proponent, and the disappearance of his wife. She was pronounced dead the following year, after having been considered to have vanished under perilous circumstances. The curse on the fourth year involved the death of the Hojo's sibling's aunt, who was then their foster mother, and the disappearance of the elder brother. The Hojo family is a poor one, and it's hard to say Mr. Hojo's job went very well. Apparently, upon re-employment via family connections, there is a plan for them to return to the home of the mother's side of the family. For Mr. Hojo, the eviction due to the Himizawa Dam project and the payment of a large amount of compensation money was essentially a windfall. Mr. Hojo actively embraced the Ministry of Construction's negotiations from an early stage and was selected as a res representative of the dam proponents. It was rumored he had been bought out by the Ministry of Construction for doing so, but the truth is unknown. However, the dam's proponents were in the vastly outnumbered minority. In addition, as the Sonozaki family strengthened its own foundation and promised support against the dam, all of the proponents, save for Mr. Hojo, switched over to the anti-dam side. At this point, Hinamizawa was completely united against the dam, and Mr. Hojo was held up to ridicule as a stooge of the dam project's proponents. He was, essentially, used as a scapegoat for the anti-dam coalition. In the end, the dam project collapsed with Oyoshiro-sama's curse and the dismemberment incident. However, punishment towards the bitter enemies supporting the Dam Project continues to this day. There are not many left today who supported the Dam Project, nor who had a negative reputation at the time. If there were any candidates left for the curse, it's the husband of the housewife who was beaten to death last year, Tepe Hojo. And Mr. Hojo's daughter, Satoko Hojo. Uh-oh. Strangely, these two are the only candidates left. Will this year's curse come down on the two of them? There is more than enough value in observing them both. Uh-oh. Well, that's ominous.